guys, how's it going? Patrick here, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Thank you for tuning into today's video. Now, I wanna talk about what happened to my 2008 997. Car that I've had for approximately three years. Well, long story short, I sold it. I sold it about a month ago, and uh, it's been a pretty interesting ownership experience. My very first, I guess you could call, entry exotic. Uh, a lot of people don't like to refer as 911s, you know, as exotics, but in my opinion, and it kind of was. Now, I think I've owned the car for a bit longer than I should have. I'll get to why later. But overall, the experience was very fun, and uh, definitely a car. I definitely a car I recommend to get for somebody that wants to have fun, get some track use out of it, a good daily driver. Now, 911 is a car that you could do a lot of things well with one car you don't need to have a separate car for doing track day or going out to the store 911 does everything very well not too bad on maintenance uh it does require a lot of babysitting so i mean for cars of that stature it's really not bad but this car i had actually bought as um as a salvage originally now i bought this car through a salvage auction it had needed some minor repairs it wasn't too bad. Honestly, I have no idea why they deemed it a salvage, but the story was is that I have figured by the type of damage that it had had, and with the type of work that needed to be done, it had appeared to have fallen off a two-post lift, and given the circumstances, the underneath of the car was started to be taken apart, and um, some cross members and stuff like that were already disassembled off the car. And when I had got the car, I needed to um, find those parts and install them back on the vehicle because they were missing. But it had some weird damage, like the rocker panels and like the rocker panels were minorly pushed in and the fenders needed to be replaced. And there was a small crease on the quarter panel. But the reason why they were fiddling around with things under there was because the clutch was heavily worn out. And I believe it had been an original clutch. At the time, the car had about 75,000 miles on it. So it was about time for replacing. I think that they should last a little longer than 75,000 miles. And it was the original clutch I was taking out. So um, I thought that they had taken the clutch job into consideration that it, it needs that repair. And it was a bit of a risk when I was buying it too because the way it had showed up on the auction was that um, it had shown it was not running. So um, that was turning a lot of people off and that's kind of where I took advantage. And where I got lucky was that with uh, with a battery replacement and that's kind of where my journey took off the car was running really rough because it had been sitting for probably eight months or so which is very bad for those engines you want to run them as much as possible but as soon as that got done the car was actually a really good running and driving car needed an alignment done fixed up some of the minor body stuff and it turned out to be a really good car in my mind i kind of always looked at it as a clean title because you know, the damage wasn't exactly that severe and Similar type of thing could have happened to a clean title car and no one would ever known about it. In the end, it turned out to be a bit costly for me. Now, the pattern I've always done with every car I've had leading up to this 911 was that I would have it for a year and sell it. And every single car that I've bought before the 911, I'm like, I, I've always told myself I wanted to keep it. And to kind of get over that fixation I have of, you know, just selling a car after a year or so just because it gets boring or whatever. I wanted a car that I could hold on to because I'm tired of buying and selling cars all the time. But uh, this car I've had a lot longer than just a year. I've had for about two and a half years, maybe a little bit more. And I've owned it for about a year or maybe half a year longer than I should have. Um, meaning, if I would have sold it a year prior, I would have gotten more money for it. Now, the market on the 997 has dropped tremendously. It's a pretty decent time to buy if you're interested. Um, my car, I loaded a lot of money in maintenance. Um, I've added, um, unnecessarily, I've added the aero kit, which I didn't need to do and probably should have taken off before selling. The car would have been hitting 10 years old next year. So definitely was a good time to sell and better now than later. And if I wanted to wait even longer, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to the values of these cars. Maybe they'll go up later, but it's, it's definitely not worth risking at this point having so much money loaded into this car. It was a great experience. I've, I've done so many things with the car, and every single day I would go out, I would capture so much attention from people. Plus, 
it's not like you really see too many of them on the road. I mean, yeah, they've produced a lot of 997s, but it's not like a lot of people would drive them. And my car, I've put a lot of hard miles on it. I've, I've put probably close to 25,000 on it. There's a lot of little things that bothered me, a lot of tedious things, like some sensors would go out, some minor mechanisms, but it was really annoying. It would have all kinds of minor malfunctions. I would have to constantly keep changing tires out because it would just like to eat up tires. Even after I got the alignment done, um, and doing the track days and the road rallies didn't help that much, but um, the car did need a lot of work. And it's the type of car that if you can do work yourself, it's, it's definitely very beneficial really to any car you buy. You could buy a Lamborghini or Ferrari. If you do the work yourself, it definitely helps out tremendously because you save so much money on maintenance. It's, it's just that type of car. I mean, if you were to take it to a Porsche dealership, I called a Porsche and I asked them how much they wanted to do, uh, how much they wanted for an alignment for my vehicle, and they quoted me uh, 600 and something dollars, and it's absolutely out of the question. I found a local shop that specializes in cars like this, and they charged me half the price. So, obviously went with that, and they did a tremendous job. It just, it, it cost me a lot more than what I was hoping for, and I guess that's just the name of the game when you play with cars like this. So. If you're looking for a Porsche, really any kind, you just kind of take into consideration what the maintenance costs are going to cost. And if you get into it cheap enough and you end up breaking even or making some money later, then it's fine. In my case, that's why I kept the car for too long is because I ended up losing money with all the stuff I've done to it. And you financially, the best way to do it is to buy a car that you already like. And if you could do some sort of minor modifications without spending too much money, then that's always the best way to do it. And that's definitely what I'm gonna take into consideration for my next car. So, I mean, what do you guys think? What kind of car should I buy next? I don't, I don't really have to stay loyal, too loyal to the Porsche brand. I do like 911s a lot. What kind of cars would you like to see on the channel? I try to keep the channel as much up to date as possible with having all different kinds of cars. What would you guys like to see? Not necessarily for me, but just what kind of cars would you guys like to see reviewed? More M3s, M5s, or Maseratis, whatever you guys like, let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm pretty responsive with your guys' comments. So if there's anything you guys want to see, American, Japanese, European, whatever it is, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll get rolling on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how I did with this 911 and check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Invincible.